Ta -da. Ta -da, here we are. Well, <laughs> as you can see, we're not in the attic. It's so hot. It's, it's been so hot. It's triple digit. Terrible. And uh, so uh, rather than go up there, which you can see just right up it's there, behind us. we brought the stuff down to us instead of us going up you're going to be so surprised when you see what I found yeah. up there. Oh, oh we, you know, we just go up there and we root around and said, let's do this. Oh, and let's do this. Let's, anyway, look what I have. Look yes. what she found. Yes, I have this box, okay? It's just, it's kind of cool. Paris. In, yeah, it, from Paris. The inside are my treasures. And uh, we talked about a while back about me doing kittle dolls on people's railroads, but this is my continuation of she my. collects kittles. Yes, and it's quite extensive and uh, they have a tinier version of kittles called a jewelry kittle and they came in storybooks and uh, my favorite of course were the little itty bitty rings because then I could really fool my school teachers into uh, I was wearing jewelry this is a ring or a brooch or another brooch it was they were either on a heart or a flower here was my very first one that I, I got. I, I can remember going to, um, I think it was Kmart. I've been Grand Central with my uncle and my dad. And my cousin and I found these and we're like, oh my gosh, look at these. They're so tiny, they're so cute. Can we have one, please? And my dad, of course, bought one for me. So that was my very first one. She's a Two little, bucks. Yeah, right? about two, two bucks. $1.98, yes. For 1965-ish or yeah. whatever we're talking about. That was a, two bucks. And of course, there's this one. She was the rarity. And if you find her mint on the card, be prepared to spend some money. What'd this one cost? Oh, probably more than my wedding ring. I, I don't know how much what. <laughs> the wedding <laughs> ring cost a few dollars. Yeah, well, it's But this one isn't close. even punched. It's, yeah, it's, it's absolutely perfect. mint. Perfect. perfect. Yeah, we called her Princess Leia now. I mean, back then there was no Princess Leia, but we refer to her now as the Princess Leia doll because she has big cinnamon Check bun. Yeah. And, you know, and of course, this was the one my cousin got, but I had to get one of those, too, when I was a kid, of course, you know. She's, uh, okay. So, anyway, I, and, and we used to play all, all these little games with them, and, and my sister, she got this one here. This one's a little flower. She has pink hair, and my sister had a, she was only about, what, two, three years old, but, you know, she played with us all the time, and she called her doll Pizza. Pizza Lita. She... Okay. <laughs> so that, yeah, pizza. Anyway. Um, and she came in two variations, pink and, of course, with light pink hair. And I've got those on the card. And uh, then there was what we call the knockoff jewelry kittles. These were fake. Even fake, back then, they were doing knockoffs out of China. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, they were all out well, of China. Well, that was Hong China, Kong. Hong Kong, yeah, kind of same thing. But anyway, this, these are earrings that you can wear. It has a little doll, and of course your teacher at school is not supposed to know you've got a toy at school. And this one, I swear, she's a one and only one of a kind. She's a jewelry lily. Yeah. Yeah, she's different. And check this out. This is so funny. I mean, they tried so hard to make it look. Right. Just, just exactly like, like a kittle. Like Compare a kittle. that to the, yeah. to the back. By Mattel. It's the same little girl, just different. Right. And, and uh, but this one, uh, 59 cents. Yeah, she was sold for 59 cents versus Not the anymore. $2. Now she's worth a small fortune because I think this is a one and only. Yeah. Anybody out there find one of these, let me and know. The knockoffs, but, when they come up on eBay and stuff, yeah. blood, it's just, you know. Oh, it's a hair pulling contest. I'll geez, tell you what. Yeah. Uh, the, the knockoffs are mm -hmm. worth a fortune compared to the real oh, ones yeah. because they're so rare. Well, and I've not seen another one like these other knockoffs I've seen, but this one, even when I was a kid, I don't remember seeing this. I'm wondering if it's. Yeah, still made in Hong Kong but, like the others. By expensive, but. we mean to say that these might cost $100. Mm. These might cost three times that much. Oh, well, at least. I bet you I could so. put her on eBay and easily fetch two, three hundred dollars because yeah. there's, I think this is a one of a kind. Just collectors mm -hmm. like the knockoffs. Right. So anyway, and then I've got some that I've got in another, you know, here, here's another one. And 
I still love these darn things today. Uh, Look at all those. You've got two of everything in there. I've got two of everything, yeah, the Bathing Beauty. These I can take them Yeah, these have them. actually been played with. Those <laughs> these are the are ones that mint. appear on people's railroads from time to time. This one is another rare one. Boy, if you can find her, even when I was a kid in school, we've dubbed her the Angel Kittle because she has angel wings. Yeah. But, yeah, it's like, this one cost me $150 to buy her on eBay. Loose. I won the bid. Yeah, loose. loose. If you get Not her mint on, on the card. Yeah. Played with, loose, played with. used. Yeah, very good. 150 played. bucks. Easy. Here is the Princess Leia one. This one's just a hoot. I'm losing the doll here. But, yeah, she has these big uh, cinnamon buttons on the side of her head. So we've just dubbed her the... The Princess Leia, there she is with one of her buns in her face. wonder if that's where they got the idea for Princess Leia. It could be. She's designed after a kittle ball. Could be. But she's another one. Boy, if you get her on the loose even, 150 bucks. Just the, just the lock alone right now on eBay. If you find just the locket without the doll, you're going to spend 75 bucks. It's just, collecting's crazy. And they, mind you, when I was a kid, my mom was like, another one, you know. And we had them, we, put, yeah, oh, we played with them, we lost them. Um, well, let's see, this one here, this was one of the first ones I found on eBay. She has green hair. I've gotten several of her. And this one is exactly my very first, oop, there she is. Uh, so the light doesn't catch her little gem face. But yeah, the green heart with the yellow hair, orange dress, glitter. She was my very first one. And I just had so much fun playing with these, but eventually they would all get lost or eaten by a chicken. Eaten by a chicken. That was another story with the, the one that the chicken ate and my grandmother lost had to in fetch a it. Stack. Yeah, and these are the, the, the knockoff ones. They were just the cheap ones and they probably cost like that one, like 59 cents or something like that at the five and dime store. And I can remember being in elementary school and the little girls would lose one of these and the front would fall off and their dolly would be missing. It was just a crisis, you know. Ah, you know. Here's a, another variant and another little case. It's another variant. And of course, in my fourth grade picture, I'm actually wearing this again, if you know tell the teacher, hey, this is jewelry, it's not, not a doll. <laughs> so anyway, that's these. They didn't buy it either. No, I still got them taken away from me all the time. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I was on eBay the other day, and I happened to have, like I said, I had two of these already. Um, let's see, this one here. Like, I need another one, right? And they're mint on the card. And so I'm looking on eBay, and there's this one that keeps coming up on eBay, and Nobody it's mint on the card. It. Yeah, it started to bother me because she had the price tags on her, you know, and when she was popular in the store, and they were just getting rid of these things because they lost popularity, you know, in the mid-70s. Nobody wanted them, early 70s even. Mark it down. Yeah, yeah. So they marked them down from like $2 all the way down. Some of them were going like 33 cents, you know, and... And so this one kept appearing on eBay. And you can see it has the price tags on it. And then with the pink hair, little blue case. And I got feeling bad. I thought, you know, I've already got two of her, technically three of them. Because I have another one that's just on the loose. The granddaughter likes to play with her once in a while. But this one it sold for, the one of the price tags I can't even see, but it got marked down to $1.07 and eventually 50 cents. 50 cents, you know, and still she didn't sell. Nobody ever bought her, no little girl ever bought her, opened her up and played with her. And uh, she went on eBay and the opening bid was $44. And I'm, oh, hey, another one, you know, let's zoom in and look at the price, have a good laugh, you know. And I was watching on eBay and nobody bid for her. Her bid came and went and I was like, seriously, for $44, mint on the card, these things will go for like 100 bucks sometimes. And nobody snagged it and I thought well that's weird so I go back on the next day after the bid had ended and she was back again this time for $35 opening bid and I'm like well that's just a hoot and so I watched and watched as I watched my conscience began to bother me I thought this is just crazy that poor little doll nobody wants her she was never bought in the store even marked her down to 50 cents no little girl ever bought her or played with her but and nobody wants her on eBay for crying out loud. Hello? You know, mint on the card. 
And so it got close to bid time and I thought, ah, what the heck, I'm gonna throw the bid out, $35, big deal. And so I did and I just waited thinking, ah, my luck, every time I throw a bid on eBay, here comes everybody and the hair pulling begins and I usually lose. There's always a sniper that jumps in at the last minute. And I thought, if it does good, she goes to a home and she's wanted, you know, after all that time. Nothing happened. I get notification, I won the bid. And so I'm thinking, well, this is kind of interesting. Uh, okay, she's gonna go home to a really nice home. We're gonna play with her. She's gonna come out of her package. I know she's mint on the card, but every toy deserves to be played with. And this poor little doll has been rejected so many times that we're gonna take her with us everywhere okay. we go. She's gonna be our new mascot. And so we're going to unveil her. We're actually gonna open her up and we're going to play with her and she is coming with there us. She is. So it's gonna be a whole new series of uh, <laughs> following the dolly along on our various adventures. Yes, but, she's uh, gonna join us. She's gonna see her, the world. Kelly, is. because Kelly. that's what I always named my little dolls. I had to think. Kelly. So she's rescue yeah, Kelly. Yeah, not pizza like my sister. No. We could call her pizza. Not a rescue pizza, pizza. that would be confusing. <laughs> pizza Lisa. Julie, if you're watching this. <laughs> rescue Kelly. <laughs> And yes. Rescue Kelly is going to be going on all of our adventures and right. train shows and conventions Absolutely. and whatever other silliness we find ourselves right. in. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Well, if uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel or if you haven't liked this on Facebook or you're not following <laughs> us there, do all of those things. Yes. If you're watching this on Facebook, like it on Facebook and follow us on Facebook. But if you're on YouTube, which you probably are. Yeah then subscribe to the channel. And the easy way to subscribe to the channel mm -hmm. is to click on the famous, famous blue button. button. Mm -hmm. That big brown blue button. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here again in a few days sure. with some more massive screwing around. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>